So I got this sea moss here. It's actually my second batch that I'm making up. Got this from uh, Urban X Black Dot Malcolm by way of KT to Arch Degree. I got it about a month ago. It's the second batch I made up. And uh, this is my first time ordering sea moss like in the raw. Usually I get it as it's in the gel form already. Other times I have gotten it. This is the first time I got it in the raw like this. And I showed it to a couple people, put it on Facebook and stuff like that. People I knew, some people saying, oh, it looks like it's not right or dried out or just the color ain't right and all this type of stuff. i tell you what, the first batch I made, I'm just, just finishing the first batch up now. I made this like a, like I said, about almost like a month ago. So it's time for it to go. Plus, it just got frozen in my refrigerator. So, plus I'm done with this done anyway. So, I'm about this is about to be done. This is the second batch, and I'm making like a lot less because the first time I didn't realize how much this stuff expands, man. I put like I thought it was a little bit. This stuff turned into like a whole big ass bundle of it. So that lasted for a minute. It actually was like perfect, I guess, because it lasts like three or four weeks, I guess, the shelf life. But anyway, um, yeah, this this is a. I'm saying it's official, you know what I'm saying? I don't got much experience with much raw sea moss. This got like, this is purplish, um, a couple different colors, multi-colored. So this is like the color I've seen if you look up African Tanzania sea moss. But it, this, uh, like, this stuff did stuff to me I wasn't even expecting. It helped me out in different, more ways than I was even thinking about it, you know what I'm saying? Definitely in the bedroom. I wasn't even looking at it. For, I'm just getting it on some old um, health type stuff. But one thing I noticed right away. Definitely did something for me in, in the bedroom. The unexpected bonus. But the only thing about this though is that when they, they bought it out, you know what I'm saying? Advertise it was $20 a pound. Um, so I was like, why not just try it anyway? Got it. It was official. Came. Everything was right. <laughs> After I made that first batch up and tried it, and I realized, like, oh, this this been official. Went back on there and tried to order a couple. I was about to get, like, three, four, five, six pounds. Went back on there, and what do you know? The price was, what was, 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 <laughs> for the okie doke, the quick okie doke. Like I said, I bought that first pound. It was 20 bucks. Came in like 32 bucks with shipping and all that stuff all together. Went back on there after I got my um, order, tested it out and stuff, let it soak overnight, messed with it. Man, I went back on there. It was like 80 bucks. I was like, damn. Not the okie doke, man. Like, it's like, damn, nothing good ever lasts too long, man. Nothing. Something told me too, and it was twenty dollars the introductory price. Something told me to just go ahead and just buy a couple pounds of it, just to even just to have it. What's, what's there to lose? Spend a hundred bucks on five pounds or something like. But I was like, nah, let me just get one pound just to test it out, make sure I ain't trying to throw my money away. You know what I'm saying? Just to make sure everything's legit with it and everything. And yeah, man. So. But I will say though, like it is, it is even worth the eighty, the eighty dollars for the pound. Like this stuff lasts for a minute. Like I said, this is my second batch. I still got a whole big ass mason jar and a half of a small one left. So this will get me through a couple months. But I was disappointed though, and I don't think that's, I don't think that's Black Dot and them Urban Next. That's like KT to Arsenal because it was his site, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I mean? But I was just like, dang, ne nothing good ever lasts too long, man. Nothing good ever lasts too goddamn long. So yeah, we're rinsing this out in the cold water, make sure it's all clean and everything like that. And once this once this clean to my um expectations, we get rid of all this regular sink water, drain it out, and I'm gonna fill it up with some spring water and let it soak overnight. But uh That's what it is, man. I would suggest if you um thinking about messing with it, this is a good spot to get it from. It definitely is official. Like I said, I felt the difference. 
this, right after I took it, I was like, oh, what the fuck? Wasn't even what I was even getting it for. I like to just take a little um, spoon, spoon for every day. You know what I mean? That's what I do. That's how I was looking. We do we do research on sea moss, but there's a lot of information on there's a lot of conflicting information on sea moss too. So you gotta be careful. A lot of people saying that if you do too much, it'll affect your thyroid. If you take too much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was like, I'm about to just grab a couple pounds. I might as well just start selling it. Why not? Just to have it on deck anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because you can never just have too much of it in stash because it, it lasts forever. They say as long as you store it the right way in a cool, dark place with no air. You know what I'm saying? Airtight. It's supposed to last forever. So I was like, might as well just grab it on up. You know what I'm saying? Then I had a weird thought one time about CMOS too. I think watching Black Dollar Urban Next, I was like, I think he said something along these lines if I'm mistaken, but I was like, what if CMOS really is Soylent Green? What if that's what they really was talking about? With, if you're familiar with what Soylent Green is and all the food's supposed to be going, they're supposed to be, only thing we're supposed to be surviving off is the Soylent Green stuff. That's going to be the only thing we got to eat. But CMOS does kind of match the description because CMOS is, um, Pretty much you can, I don't know if you can survive totally off it, but you got pretty much everything you need from it. You know what I'm saying? And it has become real popular out of nowhere. I mean, anybody who really knows about sea moss, especially in the urban community, you got to really kind of, I mean, besides Dr. Savy, we heard of it years ago, but a lot of us didn't really know what it was for real, for real, or messed with it. But we did hear of it years ago, but it wasn't until the past couple of years that we really became familiar with it and, and to be all the way real you know what i'm saying to be 100 honest you gotta kind of give that to king earner not familiar with king earner youtuber uh, channel king, king, king earner from philly you, you, you kind of can't you kind of got to just give that to him when it comes to the sea moss thing you know what i mean because he, he like if you know if you know you know and after he was doing hard with it and just pretty much moved on from not really seeing talking about it too much. Then I started seeing like white folks talking about like it was everywhere after that. But King Ernest is really the person who put this in everybody's head for real, for real. On a national scale, I say because this CMOS now, man, is real popular with all kind of people, all type of people. At first, it was, it was like a taboo type of thing, but now like <clears throat> it's a thing now everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get out to King Ernest, man, for real, for real. But um. Yeah, man, so that's what it is. If you do want to get some, go over to Urban Next. I don't know if they still got the, they might not have the link up no more now. I don't know, because once the price got moved up, I'm kind of probably kind of got a little weird. Because they was advertising it at $20 a pound. So I was like, I'm just buying some of this. Like I said, I went back on to buy some more. It was like 80 bucks a pound. I was like, damn. But that's about it. I'm going to soak this overnight. Might come on here and show it tomorrow. Do a little video about it tomorrow. Once y'all see how it looks after it's soaked, just 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 for GP. You know what I mean? That's about it.